welcome back dear students in this part 4 of chapter computer virus in this part we'll be looking at steps to prevent a virus or steps to prevent a prevent a computer virus what is an antivirus and how does the antivirus work okay so let's get into it now what are the simple steps to prevent your computer from virus okay now see students in today's time data holds same value as money or gold okay our data which is very important to us which we store in our computers okay it is very very important to us just like money is or gold is okay so we need to take every possible step to prevent our data from getting lost or from getting damaged okay now generally a computer virus infects and spreads from one computer to another by transferring infected data okay using email flash drives or other sources we have already seen that okay now to prevent a virus attack we need to follow the steps that we are going to discuss ahead okay the first important step is that we need to equip our pc with some good antivirus program and we need to keep that antivirus program up to date or updated okay so the first and foremost thing is that we need to install a antivirus program in our computer and we need to keep the antivirus program up to date or updated okay the next thing is that we need to check whether our antivirus software has the potential to detect spyware and malware or malicious program and if not if our antivirus is not able to detect spyware or and malwares like malwares like bankos or gator okay we have studied about them if they are if, if the our antivirus is not capable then we should install some anti spyware program in our computer also okay then the third step is that we need to install a firewall on our computer system to control the incoming and outgoing network traffic so what does a firewall do okay a firewall controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic whenever our computer is connected to the internet okay and we use it to collect information when we are using internet okay data comes inside our computer and it goes out of our computer so what does the firewall do is that it filters only the messages which are good for your computers okay or the data it lets it filters out all the malicious data okay and keeps our computer safe so we need to install a firewall on our firewall on our computer system to control the incoming and outgoing network traffic okay the next thing for copying files into your computer okay so always scan your pen drive with a good antivirus software okay then we should avoid downloading and installing pirated software from the internet okay in today's world we can download anything from internet okay but we cannot guarantee whether it is a good thing or not okay whether it is a genuine file or not hence we need to stay away from the software piracy and we should always purchase genuine softwares from the companies okay then we need to scan the downloaded files before opening them even if you download some file from the internet the first thing that you should do 
is you should scan that file with a good antivirus software then we should also scan our hard disk twice a month okay we should put it into practice that we should scan the hard disk of our computer twice a month with a good antivirus software then we should also take the backup of important files every day then we should use internet and email attachments very caref carefully okay we should not download any file from the internet without knowing about that file okay and we should also not uh, you know download any email attachment from any unknown sources okay the same thing is written in the last point never click on an attachment in an email unless it is from a genuine and trusted source so never click on any email which has not come from a genuine and some trusted source okay do not open unknown emails do not open the attachments inside the unknown emails okay so if we follow these steps we might it might help us to protect our computer from virus okay now let's talk about what an antivirus is okay so what is antivirus antivirus is also a computer program okay but this computer program is designed to identify prevent and remove viruses from our computer so what does an antivirus program do it identifies prevents and removes the viruses from our computer okay in addition to this it also performs some other task like it scans a computer file comp uh, scan computer files to look for known viruses from the virus dictionary and tries to remove them okay just like we have a dictionary okay to know about the words right we have the dictionary in english right you have the oxford dictionary when you don't know about certain word what do you do you look at the dictionary for its meaning in the same manner the uh, the antivirus program also has a dictionary with it where the names and various features of different viruses are written so what does a antivirus do it scans the file all the files of a computer and matches it with the virus dictionary and if it if certain file matches the files which are present in virus virus dictionary then it removes those type of files okay then it identifies suspicious behavior of any other computer program which might indicate infection we had already seen different symptoms of a virus present in our computer so it identify based on them it identifies suspicious behavior of different software programs in our computer okay it also scans incoming emails which might contain viruses in the attachment okay so this is what a antivirus is okay now let's talk about some of the popular antivirus softwares which are in use mcafee quick heal norton antivirus avg antivirus and microsoft security essentials are some of the important popular software antivirus softwares okay then there are some paid and free softwares like the free antivirus softwares are avast avg avira bit defender panda sophos and komodo these are the free antivirus softwares that are available to us okay then there are some paid softwares like the casper sky mcafee web root secure anywhere my trend micro and quick heal okay so the this was about the antivirus software now let's 
see how does an antivirus work okay so all antivirus softwares or applications operate on similar principle okay there are two main components in an antivirus what are the two main components a virus database okay the first is the virus database now what does a virus database contains a virus database contains the same file patterns which are used to identify a virus okay so virus database will contains different attributes or properties or names of different viruses that are known to us okay then the second component is the and of an antivirus is the scan engine what is the second component scan engine the first component was the virus database that contains a list of file patterns and the second component is the scan engine now what is the work of the scan engine the scan engine scans the files and compares them with the pattern files to verify if there is any infection okay so so how does an antivirus work now the antivirus contains what two important things okay the virus database and the scan engine okay now the scan engine can be run when the user activates it okay or it can also be set to run automatically at any time a file is opened or any program is executed this is called the real time so what is real time scan so see you can activate the scan engine and scan for all the files okay when we want it whenever we want it we can run the scan engine a user can run the scan engine whenever he or she wants it or we can uh, we can you know activate the scan engine automatically any time a file is open on the computer now this behavior or this uh, you know ability is called the real time scan okay the real time scan runs continuously in the background while you work on the computer it provides maximum protection by scanning the opened or saved files and displays a notification message when it detects a security risk or a virus okay so this is how an antivirus work okay now one more topic we need to discuss in this part is that what is the importance of regular updates now see the first the first step to prevent an antivirus or uh, prevent a virus was that we need to keep our pc updated with some good antivirus program and we need to keep it updated now what is the reason that we need to keep this antivirus updated okay let's check that importance of regular updates okay now we have discussed in the above section that every antivirus has a virus database that contains the list of file patterns which are used to identify a virus okay therefore to catch different types of different and new types of virus the virus database of an antivirus has to be updated frequently okay if we don't update the antivirus program then it won't be able to catch new types of virus it it will only be able to catch those type of viruses which are which were previously recognized by it okay simply installing antivirus software in a computer does not guarantee 100% protection as the installed antivirus program may not be able to detect new virus programs okay now frequently updating the antivirus software will always ensure that our computer system is always armed and well prepared for the war against all types of virus threats 
okay latest virus protection is crucial for protecting your valuable documents protecting your computer and your personal files from virus threat is continuous and ongoing activity that we need to be vigilant about okay most antivirus software companies provide the facility to download latest updates from their website okay so it is very easy to update a antivirus programs just keep on checking the website of the software company that has created it and they will tell us about the update as soon as they release a update we should download it and install it okay so that our, our computer is prepared for all the types of new all the new types of viruses okay that's it thank you for your attention students okay we come to an end of this chapter till uh, now i would expect that you will copy all the question answers in your notebook okay and take care of yourself and be well thank you